Hey everyone, here's a question from square and square root. The question is, find the smallest number by which 180 must be multiplied so that the product is perfect square. So this number 180 is not perfect square. We have to make it perfect square by multiplying with the smallest number. So whenever you see this type of question, smallest number to be multiplied or divide, we're going to use a prime factorization method. So we're going to prime factorize this number 180 and I'll explain you what to do next. So first let us prime factorize this. So prime factorization, you have to choose only prime numbers when you're factorizing it. So I'm going to start with 2 because 180 is a even number. So 2 9s are 18 and then followed by 2 zeros are 0. The next we have 19, it goes in 2 table again. So 2 4s are 8. So 1 will be the remainder. I'm going to put this along with 0. That makes a number 10. So 2 5s are 10. It's like normal division but I'm doing in a short way. If you have your own way of prime factorizing any number, like you can go with that or you can just divide 90 by 2 and write the answer. Now 45 is an odd number. I have to take the next prime number which is 3. So 3 1s are 3. So 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 15. So 3 5s are 15. 15 again goes in 3 table. So 3 5s are 15. Now we have 5. 5 is a prime number. So 5 1s are 5. Now we're going to just rewrite this once again. So 180 is equal to, write down all these factors what you got. It is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Yes. Now once you have done this, you have to start pairing up. So you can see that this is forming a one pair. Pair means a set of two factors. They should be same factors. Now this is forming a one set. But you can see this 5. I'm sorry I've written here of 3 it is 5 so this 5 is single it is not forming any pair which means this 5 this if there is a one more 5 then we can say that it will gonna form a pair but this 5 is missing we want one more 5 so smallest number to be multiplied here will be 5 if we had another 5 we can pair up again and the number will become perfect square so when you multiplying we should multiply on both the side that is we have to multiply with 180 also but in this question they are not asking us to multiply and get the answer we have to just find out the smallest number to be multiplied so it's very simple the number which is single which is not in pair and that will be the number which has to be multiplied here so we're going to conclude the answer so therefore 5 is the smallest number to be multiplied. So that's it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.